Becoming dehydrated when riding on long rides in the summer is a serious problem, one that I've had to deal with for years. I think I might have a solution. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about, I'm going to actually be reviewing the Camelback Classic. And this is a hydration system. It's actually originally made for bicyclists, but uh, I'm using it on my motorcycle, obviously. So uh, before I get started, I would like to welcome all of you to Cruise Man's Reviews and encourage you, if you haven't done so already, please click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. Now, Right up front, I want to let you know that Camelback is not sponsoring this video. They didn't pay me to say wonderful things about the product, but they did send me this to test and review for the purpose of riding on a motorcycle. And what I did is I tested this during my, uh, I'd say, four-hour ride from Dallas to Shreveport to go to Wingding. And I actually wore this. This is the classic model. I believe it holds 70 ounces of water. And I'm going to take you through and show you a little bit about this product and how it works. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what I liked about it and what I, I really didn't like and what I wish they would change. It's really, it's uh, 70 ounces. It's small. It's pretty compact. It's very light. Even when it's full of water, it's not super heavy. It was actually compact enough that I was able to wear this underneath my riding jacket rather than over the riding jacket. And I did that because, uh, you know, I, I had uh, an ice pack in here and I felt like, yeah, maybe I'll keep my back kind of cool. And I've got plenty of space in my riding jacket anyway. Uh, but... Uh, you could certainly wear this on the outside of your jacket. Now, here is a little bit about the the uh, product itself. It, it's kind of made out of a feels like a, a like a parachute nylon type material, very lightweight. I had them send me the one that's in the high vis yellow, just because I feel like if you're a rider and maybe you have a black motorcycle jacket and you wore this on the outside of the jacket, it would provide another level of safety because it is vis visible, more highly visible. Uh, also, the the uh, the logo and the writing on here is reflective, so if you were wearing this after dark, it would provide a little more additional safety. Uh, this is the actual back of the, the product that, you know, would face back behind you. There is a zipper up here, and they, they put these little zipper pulls on here. Makes it very easy to access if you're wearing gloves, which I like. And then inside here is the actual bladder where you, you fill this with water. You just unscrew this little cap, and uh, you can then pour... Uh, your co cool water in there. It also has a little retainer so it won't just go flying off. Pretty nice. And it's all sealed. So you don't have to worry about this leaking as long as you tighten this. And then it just slides down inside here. I think this is actually a tool pouch on the side here for like if you wanted to store gloves or some tools like if you're riding on a bicycle and you had a little patch kit or something so you could use it for that it's actually pretty good size it has quite a bit of space in there i'll tell you what i used it for i put an ice pack in there one of those uh, blue ice uh, things that's frozen to keep to keep the water cool they don't say you can't do that now if you were using this for tools or gloves or whatever, you could always probably slip the ice pack behind the bladder uh, if you wanted to do it that way, too. There should be enough space in there for a small ice, uh, those blue ice plastic things that you put in the freezer. But they do give you this nice little pocket here. And then if and there's a, a little loop here. I think this is so that you could hook on like a bicycle helmet. You know, if you got off your bike and you wanted to hook it on there. They give you all kinds of little things like that that are kind of geared toward bicyclists. They also have a little, there's a little uh, hook here that you could use to 
hook on some kind of accessory or something. So, you know, they, they, they thought this through, obviously. Now, here is the actual, uh, the little water, I don't know what you call this, the ho hose, the spout, the thing you put in your mouth to get a drink of water. And it's, a, it's kind of a blue, rubbery, flexible. And then on the end, it has this, uh, it has a little valve that you can open or close. So if you want to leave it closed, you can. Uh, I just left it open. It didn't leak. It never le leaked out. And I just kind of let it flop down on the jacket. I, you know, you can uh, actually store it in one of these straps. But since I had mine under the jacket, I couldn't access those straps. If you did have it on the outside of your jacket, you could slip this through this little loop like that. And as you're riding, you know, it would stay in place. But it didn't seem to fly around a lot for me. I didn't have any trouble with it flopping around. And then uh, you basically put this in your mouth and it has a tiny, this is a, a very soft rubber on the tip. And when you squeeze it this way, it opens a, a little, that slit opens up and it allows the water to come through. Now I wear a modular helmet. So if you wear a full face or a modular helmet, it is a little bit fiddly to get it up there and get it in your mouth. I wish they had an optional tip, a different tip, uh, maybe that would be designed more for motorcyclists, but uh, for, for full face helmets. But it worked. I was able to make it work. I didn't have to raise up the modular, you know, front of the helmet to get it in there. I could get it up in there and it, it just took a little effort, but you can do it. I actually got this a whole idea. Uh, from watching uh, Itchy Boots' channel because, you know, she travels the world and she's out in remote areas and she has a camelback that she uses and she wears a full face helmet. So I figure if she could do it, I could do it. And that's where I actually got the idea to reach out to camelback. On this side, you've got your straps, which are fully adjustable. Uh, when they come around the front, you've got an, another little secure clip here to hold the front in place. What rests up against your back is very soft and it's really designed to be worn like over a t-shirt or over a compression shirt or even against your skin because it's a very cool, a uh, lot of airflow going through there. Wouldn't really matter so much if you're wearing a motorcycle jacket, but if you were just wearing a t-shirt and you had this on, you'd appreciate that coolness. Of course, you could wear, you could use this when you're hiking or any you know, anywhere. You don't have to just use it on a motorcycle. But that is structurally how this one is designed. Okay, so I used this on my road trip to Shreveport and back. Used it both ways. And what I did is I filled it with bottle, cold bottled water. I put, uh, you know, like bottles of Dasani water in the fridge, got it cold, and then I filled it up. And then I also put the ice pack in. Uh, the ice pack actually remained frozen for the entire four-hour ride. It it started it was starting to melt, but it was it stayed cold. The water, which this holds about seventy ounces, um, I put nearly th actually I did put three bottles of water in here, th three of the twenty-ounce bottles. So I had over sixty ounces in here on the way. On the way back, I actually filled it up as full as I could get it. I bought a bigger bottle and I filled this thing up to the brim. Best case scenario, I would say this is good for about three hours for me. Uh, I I just kept taking drinks and normally what I have done in the past is I keep bottled water in a little ice chest in the trunk of my bike. And uh, so that means every time I have to stop in hot weather, when it gets up to like 100 degrees, I'm stopping every 40, 40, you know, 30 to 45 minutes to take a drink of water. And that means I got to pull over, I got to open the trunk, I got to pull my helmet up, take a drink, dump out the melted ice out of my ice chest. Not to mention that little ice chest that I carry takes up about a third of my trunk. I was able to recapture space from my trunk by using this. I didn't have to take the ice chest and I didn't have to stop just to take a drink of water. So it was really nice. And I was able to go, like I said, about three hours uh, before this started to run dry. Now, you know, if you wore it on the outside of your jacket, it's very easy just to take it off by a couple of cold bottles of water somewhere at a, uh, you know, at a convenience store when you stop to get gas 
and just fill it back up. Now, if you're an iron butt rider or if you're a guy that likes to just, you know, ride for hours on end, I would recommend getting the larger Camelback. They make one called, I call it a mule, but it's actually M-U-L-E. <clears throat> I'll put links to that in the description of this video as well. And that model, I believe, holds 100 ounces. So it's it's, you know, almost 50% more water than what this holds, and it has other features as well. Really, really nice looking, but it's going to be bigger, and it's going to be a little heavier and, and bulkier. I did not find this to cause me any discomfort at all. It was, you, you knew it was there, but I have a Utopia backrest, and it kind of just sat on top of the backrest. I didn't even feel it. So I never, it didn't weigh me down. It didn't feel uncomfortable. Uh, I will definitely be using this on every road trip in the summertime. Um, when I ride to Midland and ride back from Midland, it gets so hot and I'm constantly having to pull over and take a drink. I really think this is maybe one of the best things I've used recently to mitigate hot weather riding. So if you're interested in this, and they come in all different colors. This particular model comes in five or six or seven different colors. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video where you can order this on Amazon through my Amazon page. Now, if you order it through that link, I do benefit. I believe you get a little, I don't know, I've seen some pretty good prices on Amazon on these. So I'll put links in the description of this video. And if you have any other questions about this, please put it in the comments down below. If you have used a Camelback hydration system when you ride your motorcycle, uh, would you please mention that in the comments on this video? I'd like to know what your experiences have been, which model you've used. Uh, but for me, this is something I will definitely be using from now on. So anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to click that like button. And don't forget, ride often and ride safe.